Hey, what's going on guys? NSC85 back in the shop tinkering again. What do we have in front of us today? The Lantac BMD blast mitigation device. Super stoked. I've been waiting so long to finally get my hands on one of these and I finally have my hands on one. So I figured, well, what the heck? I just finished my uh, Mega Arms pistol build. As you remember, I uh, did a video <clears throat> Finishing up this upper last week, had a VG6 Epsilon, and now I got the BMD. Like to tinker, don't we all? It's the uh, Barbie doll of the gun world, man world. You know, so threw a Lantac Dragon on there, and I'm going to show you guys how to install this BMD. It's a little bit more involved than similar devices that you've also seen on my channel and I maybe have some tricks up my sleeve that uh, you may find helpful if you pick one of these up. Uh, just remember too that if you like this uh, AR-15 cleaning mat in the background patriotpatch.co you can get 15% off if you use the promo code NSZ85 so check them out. So let's go ahead and dive in and install the Lantac BMD. Okay, so obviously to install the BMD, you need a Lantac Dragon. If you don't have a Lantac Dragon, you're going to have to get one to install the BMD. You've seen the Lantac Dragon on my channel before. I am a big fan. It does create a lot of noise, a lot of thumping to the chest, but you are able to shoot extremely flat. It's probably the flattest shooting muzzle device that I have ever used to date. However, with the BMD, you get the benefit of the flat shooting without the thumping to the chest uh, to your neighbors. So that's what this is. It also looks really cool. Some people are into aesthetics. I'm into aesthetics, so it works for me. Like I said, we all like to tinker. So in the packaging, you're going to have the BMD and you're also going to have the sleeve because you can't attach this because it'll just wobble around. So you have to install this sleeve first. The sleeve is very simple. It's just going to go on over and these two ports line up with those two ports. This is backwards of course. This is correct. And then we're going to lock this in place with some shims. And the shims is what's going to be a little bit tricky. And the only part that's tricky about it is because they have to be on either side, on either flat spot. And then you have to slide this, the sleeve, over both shims. And that's kind of tough to do, obviously, without them falling out of place. So I'm going to teach you something that I learned when I was into my 1911 disassembly and reassembly of my 1911. You guys can check out that video too. I have many different videos, but if you have a 1911, feel free to check out my disassembly and reassembly video of a 1911. So anyway, we have these two shims. They look like this. They're just kind of half rounded, sort of. And those are gonna go on either side, like so. You can see my mark because I already uh, did a dry run, of course, make sure everything went smoothly. And then we're going to use set screws to lock these in place. So my tip is just grab some grease. It doesn't matter what kind. I just have some AeroShell 33MS laying around. Just put a little dab, just a teeny little bit. And that's not going to hurt anything. What it is going to do is allow you to kind of just paste that in place like so. And you can even turn it upside down and it'll stay in place as well. So that's my quick little tip. Do it to the other side as well. Smoosh her down. So we got that in place on either side. Now we're going to take our sleeve slide that over being mindful not to knock these out of place go right over them 
and you'll kind of feel it hit the uh, hit the shoulder on the inside. But you're gonna look over here, and you can see that everything's lining up just fine there. And what I do then is I take one of these set screws. And I just screw one of these in place initially just so I don't have to worry about this thing falling off or knocking out of place, right? So now I go to this side, okay? And Lantac supplies Rockset. If you guys aren't familiar with Rockset, Rockset is kind of like Threadlock, only it's uh, very very tolerant of high heat so it's perfect for muzzle devices it's what I use when mounting uh, suppressor muzzle devices and per the instructions it says to be very liberal so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna dunk this right in this uh, right in this tube and if it falls in well that's fine too but I'm just gonna go get it nice and coated. And it says to apply it to the threads and to the sleeve and kind of just slather it in place like so. Come over to the other side. Now I'm going to unscrew this one. Okay. And tighten that one down. And you want it snug but you don't want to over tighten it of course. No reason to to go nuts on it. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to make sure that these set screws are sticking out far enough that the BMD is going to fit just fine. So go right over like so. And I'm going to turn it so you can see. It kind of goes into place here so just make sure that your BMD is able to move freely you may have to loosen one or both of these just by a little bit because it should just go right into place just go right over and slide into place like so so like you saw I just had to loosen the left one just a little bit so the instructions also state that before you use it let it sit for 48 hours and that's to make sure that the rock set has time to cure very very well and before you shoot it, make sure and make certain that these are locked in place. Because you definitely don't want your muzzle device flying downrange or creating any unsafe environments. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. And hopefully if you pick up a Lantec BMD, you found that tip helpful. Make sure and check out NSC85 on... Instagram, Facebook, I mean all the social media, at NSC85 slash NSC85, you'll find me. And make sure to check the links below. I'll have information on how to pick one of these up and any other helpful links. And thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a good day.